Willett, a reporter for Extra, and I'm here talking with John Barnstead, a professor of Russian studies and an expert on Mikhail Kuzmin. Kuzmin was born in 1872, died in 1936, and uh, a very good poet. Uh, was a student of Rim Rimsky-Korsakov, a composer, uh, a dramatist, uh, a a uh, novelist, wrote uh, 70 short stories, admired uh, by such uh, stellar Russian people as, uh, as Boris Pasternak and Anna Akhmatova, Osip Mandelstam, Marina Tsvitaeva, the biggies of the 20th century, mm -hmm. all thought he was great. He uh, was attracted um, mostly to bisexual men, we think, and uh, um, that, of course, um, in, in caused him heartaches of various sorts when they became involved with women. And he wrote the first Russian gay novel. That's right. Uh, it's called Wings, uh, Krylia. Wings uh, is the story of um, the encounter of a young Russian boy named uh, Vanya Smurov. Uh, uh, he uh, is a, a typical uh, Russian adolescent in, in various ways, and he um, becomes uh, involved with an Englishman uh, named uh, Stroop. It was special in a variety of ways, wasn't it? Well, first of all, to be uh, uh, devoting an entire novel uh, to the story of a young Russian boy coming out. There had been random mentions of, uh, of homosexuality in Russian literature. Um, there's a, a brief uh, episode in Anna Karenina, for example. Uh, but. Uh, uh, this was the first uh, book-length um, treatment of the subject, and it became possible because between 1905 and about 1914 is when the censorship was lifted. So was he kind of at the forefront of, of, of gay literature for a period? Very much so, um, and uh, certainly uh, in Russia, but in the broader European context too. Uh, if you think of E.M. Forster's uh, Maurice, for example, uh, that was uh, written in 1913 and wasn't published until after Forster's death in 1970. And so Kuzmin was uh, uh, being absolutely open and honest uh, during the course of his uh, entire lifetime under very uh, often uh, difficult uh, circumstances. But what about gay rights in general? Would you say that he was in any danger publishing? Uh, from uh, time to time, certainly. Um, uh, uh, there's an account in his diary, uh, for example, of a gay bashing uh, incident. Um, uh, he uh, ran into trouble in the 1920s uh, for uh, publishing in order to keep from starving to death uh, a collection of uh, uh, pornographic uh, poems called uh, um, picture, uh, curtained pictures, Zanavieshnly uh, Karatsinki. Uh, of course, uh, once Stalin came into power uh, in 1934, uh, homosexuality, which had been uh, legalized in Russia between 1917 and the end of 1933, was recriminalized, and uh, at that point, uh, um, Kuzmin could have uh, been arrested and uh, and put in prison for. Uh, several years. Some people thought of Kuzmin as the Oscar Wilde of Russia. Kuzmin certainly had read uh, a lot of Wilde and translated the ballad of reading uh, Jail into Russian actually. Mm. And um, uh, But I, I do think that uh, Kuzmin um, was on a different level as a poet than, than uh, Oscar Wilde was. And he would have thought that himself. I think so too. <laughs> yes, I, he, he, uh, I think he knew his value. Okay. <laughs> I mm -hmm. wish I could remember now the date. It was in the late 1920s, I think. Possibly, yeah. Uh, there, uh, 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 Kuzmin gave a, a reading, and uh, the gay population of Leningrad came out for oh. the reading. And um, at the end of it, they were throwing flowers at Kuzmin on stage. And uh, oh, later on, it was called <laughs> the last public demonstration oh. of the uh, Petersburg pederasts, as they were called in those <laughs> days. It's important not to let um, the history be lost again. And it, uh, what happened in 1934 shows that um, uh, the gains of, uh, of a social um, advancement and so forth can literally be wiped out with the stroke of a pen. Uh -huh. And so it's important, I think, 
for everyone to know the history of all of this and and to be vigilant. You know, mm -hmm. um, for the last uh, eight or so years, they've been legislating against homosexual propaganda in Russia, I wonder. Um, and Moscow uh, enacted a, a law prohibiting a gay pride parade for, for 100 years in the city. Yeah. And I wonder how available his work is? Will it continue to be available? And uh, what, what does it mean to people who are struggling there? It's very hard to put things back in the box once they're out. Mm. And uh, with the internet, um, Russia hasn't been as successful as China, for example, in, in creating a, a wall around itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kuzmin's work continues to be um, widely accessible via the internet. Um, uh, at Dalhousie, we started a project in the um, late 1990s to uh, put up as much of it as, as we could uh, and make it available on, on the internet. And, uh, uh, that uh, has meant that, that uh, he is available, uh, widely read, and I think has various forms of, uh, of influence uh, and widely read among uh, younger people as well. So thank you for coming to speak with me about Mikhail Kuzmin. Thank you for having me.